Welcome to the first part of the two-part hardware review of the VKB Gladiator Mark III series in the Space Combat Premium version. In this review, we will cover the Gunfighter Mark III base, the Space Combat Edition grips already known from the Gladiator series in the Premium version, as well as the two available extensions for the Gunfighter series. And since we have already presented you with very comprehensive reviews of the NXT Gladiator and EVO series, we recommend that beginners start with this to get an overview. Nevertheless, we will of course go into the differences of the Gladiator EVO series in the review. VKB also offers various upgrade options, such as the use of an Omni Throttle Adapter, as well as the possibility to use your existing Gladiator grips on the Gunfighter base. The hardware was provided to us free of charge by our partner VKB, but without any influence or specifications, so it is our own free opinion. But first of all a big thank you to the true ladies and gentlemen who make this video possible with their support as Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Thank you! The Gunfighter Mark III in the Space Combat Premium version were delivered as usual well and safely packed in single parts. The grip is separated from the base, which effectively prevents delivery damage. It should be noted that the scope of delivery is very extensive and leaves nothing to be desired due to the different strong spring sets, differently bent metal cams for the gimbals, in a progressive variant for flight simulators as well as a linear one for space simulations. In addition, the scope of delivery naturally also includes the various customization options for the grip, with changeable switches and various control crosses, as well as the various supports. And of course, the corresponding tools such as a screwdriver and Allen keys are also included, so that you can carry out all the adjustments directly. As a small bonus, you will find a high quality and thick VKB rubber patch in the packaging. Also included is the all aluminium base plate with 22 by 22 cm and a thickness of about 0.5 cm, which provides a very secure stand for our gunfighter sticks. The base plate also has four rubber feet to prevent slipping. Finally, the scope of delivery is comprehensive and offers various customizations and individualization options directly in the standard scope of delivery. The short 100mm extension shown here, however, is not included in the standard scope of delivery. The assembly is very easy, even for pilots with little manual skills, because in the tabletop version, when using the base plate directly with the grip, we simply plug it onto the very stable 3 pin bracket. To make this more visible to you, we use a 100mm extension, whereby the attachment works identically to that directly on the base. In the round opening on the handle, we insert the round attachment with a screw. Open it with a screw and finally screw it in after we have inserted the handle. By using a metal pin, we cannot insert this incorrectly to the base. And of course, the grip of the Space Combat Premium version grip also offers a wide range of customization and individualization options, which we have already presented to you in detail in the first part of our review for the Gladiator NXT Premium. Since the grips are absolutely identical, you will find all the customization and configuration options in detail here, such as replacement options for individual buttons or four-way controllers, and of course adjustments for hands of different sizes. When using a compatible extension, such as the 100mm straight extension or the 200mm long and slightly curved extension, we have an additional attachment, which however works identically to the attachment to the base. In any case, the connection is ensured via an extremely practical mechanical 3-pin system, whereby plug connections can be dispensed with. However, when using an extension, it should be noted that the springs should be adjusted accordingly, as otherwise the spring resistance can be correspondingly low when using an extension and stronger springs can suitably compensate for the longer lever. Therefore, extensions are supplied with corresponding spring strength. Especially for the long 200mm extension, we recommend the stronger 50 springs in any case. The base of the Gunfighter Mark III is made of full aluminium and looks very high quality. In the nevertheless very compact housing, we find the full metal gimbal with adjustable axle dampers, whereby the Mark III can also fall back on dry clutch mechanisms. For each axle, we have adjustable cams as well as different springs that allow for comprehensive adjustments. 
The progressive load cams called Avia each offer a soft and hard center and are intended for flight simulators, while the linear load cams called Space also offer a soft and hard center and are intended for space simulations. The cams are made of hardened stainless steel alloy, which underlies the premium claim of the Gunfighter series. This is also reflected in the digital high-resolution contactless sensors, as well as the black box for the connection, which uses an active 32-bit ARM MCU USB 2.0 controller. The connection cables, one from the stick to the black box with 50 cm and from the black box via USB to the computer with 180 cm, offer a total length of 2.3 meters. One advantage of the black box is that we can connect other peripherals such as pedals or extensions directly and still only need one USB connection to the computer. A basic recommendation for a configuration with regard to springs and cams cannot be given, although the standard configuration has convinced us so far. Only when using extensions, stronger springs are advisable in any case. In the tabletop version, the direct use of the base with the grip, the base plate is sufficient as a base on the desk. All through in the premium segment, which the gunfighter definitely addresses, an attachment directly to the chair or table can offer considerable ergonomic advantages. In addition, an appropriate attachment offers significantly more stability. For this purpose, VKB offers full aluminium extensions, once 100mm and straight design, as well as 200mm and the curved version. This allows various setups with direct chair and table mountings or even dedicated flight chairs, without any problems, whereby the base can be integrated very well due to its enormous compact design. Furthermore, an omnithrottle adapter is also available for the Gunfighter series, which makes it possible to generate a dedicated thrust controller from a stick, whereby individual axes can be fixed in order to use a pure thrust controller. Here, Analogous to the Omni version of the Gladiator Evo, we have the possibility to further personalize our setup. In addition, with an inexpensive upgrade kit, we can also use our existing Gladiator grips directly and without restrictions on a gunfighter base. This leaves us with various options for customizing our own setup, whereby the Gunfighter series goes one step further in terms of quality standards and workmanship compared to the Gladiator Evo series. In our opinion, the Gunfighter series is at last very well positioned in the premium segment. However, we will draw a conclusion in the second part of this review. In a direct comparison of the Gunfighter Mark III to the Gladiator Evo series, we notice above all the significantly smaller base, with the base plate of the Evos clearly towering over it. In addition, the base of the Gunfighter has no buttons or switching instruments, which limits the possibilities. However, the Gunfighter base offers a much higher quality mechanics and technology in compulsion. The adjustment possibilities are even greater than with the already well-equipped EVO series, whereby the feel and handling of the Gunfighter seems noticeably finer and more predictable. A variety of other grips, extensions and modifications can also be used on the Gunfighter base. The premium version of the Space Combat grips, on the other hand, doesn't quite seem to match the high-end standards of the Gunfighter base, although we are already looking forward to corresponding extensions. However, the Space Combat grips can also show off their good ergonomics and functionality on the Gunfighter base without any restrictions. In the second part of the review series, we deal with the installation, the setup of the software and the configuration of the sticks. We will also go into the calibration and firmware updates, and we will also adjust the cams and springs. Finally, we will draw a conclusion and give you some help. I look forward to your tips and comments and say goodbye until next time. See you soon and, as always, see you in the verse.